Hi everybody and welcome to May, right? April showers bring May flowers. So today we're going to talk about May flower granny power. And in this 31 day series, I'm going to share my favorite flower granny square projects with you. I love these groovy fun project ideas and with the warmer weather, granny projects are perfect. They're small, easy to bring along on trips, and nice to save up for cooler weather to piece together. So let's get started. All right, we have moved on to day 22. And this is an interesting one. This one has a little bit of a story to it. So this is called Something Pretty, and it's a pattern by Millie Makes, and it's available on Ravelry. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show you what I mean by it has a little bit of a story. Now in itself, it is just a pretty little pattern and I like the pictures that Millie, I believe it's her name, Millie makes, uh, has used. It's a very lovely little pattern, but nothing terribly exciting about it until I read this. This is the pattern inspired by Dottie Angel's Thrifty Find, put into crochet words by Millie. So. I'm not really sure what that means. I did open this up and there is no pattern here. So I'm guessing that Millie Makes was just inspired by uh, what she found on this website and wanted to um, kind of make it her own. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one, Dottie Angel's Thrifty Find. And I have to say, I like how Dottie Angel <laughs> did it better, but that's just me. It's just me. So this is just a blog. I don't believe that there's any pattern here, but this is Large Ramblings and Small Doses of Dottie Angel. So that's the name of her blog, and um, this is her blanket. So it's very pretty, very cute, but when you scroll down and you see her dog Olive with it, it's even cuter. So here's little Olive, and apparently Olive sleeps in this little suitcase, and this is her blanket. So it's really adorable. I, I really like this a lot, so cute. Look at her in her little blanket. <laughs> She's very cute. Yeah. So if you're interested in making this, um, you can go on over to Ravelry and check this out by Millie Makes. Or of course, just like always, you can just follow the link in the description box below to my Pinterest board, click on the picture and it'll give you a direct link right to this pattern. This pattern is available for free and um, yeah, it's just a nice sweet little pattern. All right. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of this series. And until tomorrow, have a great day. Bye-bye.